Hi there, it's Reset Over Farm, and I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, mainly because, I guess, I quite like machinery, and that's one of the things that is attractive for farming for me. And I spotted a, a few videos on YouTube recently about generators starting up and diesel engines starting up. I thought, oh, that's kind of, that's interesting. I, I'm interested in that. And I, I, and I thought maybe someone else is too and see what else we do at the farm. So I shall, uh, just going to give you a bit of a tour of this old generator here and uh, go through the starting process on this cold day and see if she starts up on the uh, batteries that I think going off the, off the signs are from 2011. So uh, yeah, hold on, off we'll go. So this I believe um, my dad's friend found in an old manor house uh, coming back I think early 2000s and it's been taken out either decommissioned and a new one putting in or just finished all together so it's an old Lister diesel I can't find any any date plate but if you go on here it's 109.5 horsepower at 1500 rpm and that's a serial number and it's air cooled which is kind of mad so there's this tiny little fan in here which sends air up around the cylinders to cool it and it makes a hell of a noise because that fan goes really fast straight off the uh, off the uh, crankshaft there uh, and also doing the alternator on the other side and it's, it's a the little silencer on there but it's not particularly massive and then these oil filled air filters and, uh, and yeah, there's a 24 volt system running here on two old batteries um, it looks a bit odd and um, because it, it, my dad decided to use it down at a, a party and, and it's because it's so loud he surrounded it in big Heston straw bales and uh, one of the embers from that exhaust came out and set the bales on fire so it promptly then melted everything so there's evidence of melted plastic everywhere um, the electricians had to put a new new handle on here um, to make that work and uh, there's a few other things that have melted off over the years new cables being fitted on to make it safe again but uh, yeah, that's, so that's exciting. We just had to replace the tar on here because that had finally given up after after many years of being very perished from the fire. But uh, yeah, it's a huge amount of oil in this thing. Uh, there we go. It's still still clean because it does very very little. And you know, as you can see here, I last did this on fourth of the tenth, two thousand eleven, where I changed the oil in here, oil in the engine, and uh, put the new belts on. I think it's a hundred. It's either a hundred. It's a hundred kVA generator, I think. So we've got 125 uh, three-phase plug on here that we can power either the farm shop or we're just going to install a new setup for the farm on this uh, that will work. These got massive old fuses in here, um, which we're going to upgrade because it. Uh, if, if we do, if we overload this and they trip, we've not got any way of re replacing them instantly which is when we're going to be needing this is in an emergency so we're going to upgrade that to a i think it's 125 three phase breaker can't remember what it actually is called sorry electricians out there i know some stuff but not loads and then we've got some other outputs here we've got 633 which we can use on discos if we ever need to 13 amp sockets uh, and, a, and a 16 amp there just so that if we can tow this on a tractor anywhere on the farm and, and use it as a power source doesn't do it very often because it's usually flat and what have you. Uh, old diesel tank up there with a collection, collection tray. Uh, I think this was built on here on this green, well, so green tray, all painted green by local engineer Don Price uh, to get it all, all good to use on the farm. So, all right, next thing is to test the batteries and then uh, connect it together and see if it'll start. Right, so try and do this one-handed. This uh, connection on here. Uh, no, that was the right way for this time. One of them's a 13, one of them's a 14. Maybe someone can tell me why that's the case on battery terminals. Uh, swap. I bet it's a 12, not a 14, is it? What I need is to be a little bit tight so it doesn't just arc and 
cycles of these connections right. Battery isolator on. Should have a red light here now. There we go. This is again this all melted. There used to be a nice little ammo heater on here. Maybe one day I'll clean all this up and make it a bit uh, make it work again, but well not work but look tidy. But it does work, so right. That red light's working quite nice, so let's see if the thing will crank over there. All right, so walked away from it now because it is so loud. <laughs> Can't hear myself think. My watch has just gone off saying you're in too loud, louder an environment, which is goes off and it's over 90 decibels, I think. So it's loud. My ears are ringing already. Uh, keep that going for an hour to make sure it charges the batteries and burns off any uh, water in the oil and uh, should be good for another month in case we need it for the farm shop for an emergency. Yeah. I hope that was a little interesting. If any of you know a bit more about that engine, about Lister Diesels, comment on there because I'll be interested to know a bit more about it. Um, yeah, there's not really any more placards on it on that, unless they were burnt and I can't find them. I know there's a, the, the generator's um, got a placard on it, but it's buried under all of the plastic that we put on to protect it from the moisture. And I I think that's not that's not the original either. It died. I don't I don't think it was because of the fire. I think it um, it failed at some point and it got replaced. And then I think the controller failed because it got wet. So we've got a new controller on the generator and that's now. So yeah, that, that's why it's blue and not green like the rest of it. That's no, kind of cool. Old bit of air cooled diesel six cylinder. Lister Lister English English company. So hope you find that interesting. I'll catch you on the next one.